Welcome, guys. Welcome to the show. Thank you for coming out. This is Andre with Yup, I Said It. I want to talk about Philadelphia right now, bro. But before I do, you need to like and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to wait. I'm not going to. I'm not going to do anything until you like and subscribe. Make sure you have time. Did you did you like and subscribe? Thank you. Thanks for liking and subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. Okay. So how many times have we seen this stuff happen, man? Countless. Okay. Every single time police have to bust somebody, hick them, hick them, hick them the crazy train wrecks, the kids without dad the, the kids with their parents on crack and heroin, go run and tear businesses up that don't belong to them, stealing stuff just because, and they don't care about what's, look, look, let me, let me clear this up, man. These people don't care about who got shot, why they got shot. They're clearly laughing and, and breaking in, stealing stuff. This ain't got nothing to do with protesting. They're angry. They, I don't. Who cares how angry they are? You don't tear your neighborhood up just because you're angry. Okay? You don't poop in your bed because you don't feel like getting up. These people are crazy, man. Like, what, what's the, what, what can we do to fix this, right? Because the police go in. These people are acting reckless. They got guns, illegal guns, okay? Not the legal kind. They got illegal guns. They're killing children. They're killing people left and right. Chicago, Philadelphia, Baltimore, you know, the, all the liberal cities, every last one of them. They're killing, killing, killing all day. What do you do about it? In my opinion, you need to send the military over there. That's what you need to do. You don't need to send the military over there to start killing people because we already know how that's going to end. Racism, it don't matter if it's all black people uh, doing it. It's still going to be racism. The white man has sent them in to do this. So these people, they, they're so tired in these neighborhoods of the killing and the robbing and the stealing. They don't know what to do with themselves. Target shutting down big corporations, man, big companies. You know, they're not waiting uh, five, six, seven months to close. No, they are closing like in 30 days. OK, <laughs> less than 30 days. These people closing their corporations down the big companies. This tells you a lot from theft. All right. This will happen when you ha don't have home training. Your parents never taught you respect. They never taught you to appreciate what you already have. You out there acting reckless and nobody's doing anything about it. The police are overwhelmed. The parents are smoking crack. Ain't no dads in the house. The only thing you can do is send the military in there. All right. They're going to cry racism anyway. All right. But you've got to have order in the country. You have to have order in the country. We send we send troops everywhere, all over the world. We got military, uh, we have, we have military facilities all over the world, man. But we we don't have them in the places where we need them most, right? In the liberal cities, that's where you need them. I wouldn't care what anybody says. The crime is out of control. So take a look at this, man. These uh. I don't want to call them kids because, I mean, they're not kids. They're adults. They should know better. And the looting begins. Center City, Philadelphia. Officers saying these people were not part of the protesters who were upset following a judge's dismissal of all charges against former Philadelphia police officer Mark Dial. Yeah, people can be seen carrying arms full of merchandise after breaking into this footlocker on Chestnut Street. 
Monday night, I'm Gray Hall with Sari Williams. Uh, the big story tonight on Action News is breaking news of reports of looting tonight on the streets of Philadelphia. Well, this does come hours after city officials called for calm following charges being dismissed against Officer Mark Dial in the shooting death of Eddie Irizarry. Action News is Christy Aletto joining us here live now in Center City with more and Christy police stressing that those we're seeing doing these acts not necessarily a part of the protest from earlier. And that's right, Charlie. And I want to set the scene here on Walnut Street because it pretty much looks like a labyrinth of yellow crime scene tape. Now, from what we can see, it looks like 15th Street all the way to 18th Street have been blocked off. And within the confines of those blocks are stores like the Apple Store that were hit by looters. Now, like you mentioned, police say that they don't believe the individuals responsible are tied to that peaceful protest from earlier. When is enough enough? Like... When do you start prosecuting people? When do you start locking them up? When do they start actually taking action in the communities? When do they start hiring more police officers? When does uh, Joe Biden and the Biden administration step in and help? They're not going to do it. Their whole culture is soft on crime. That's what happens when you have criminals in charge. They don't like to prosecute other criminals. You know, that's how it is. Defunding the police, bad idea, very bad idea. A lot of police officers uh, quit, okay, behind that. Their jobs are already hard enough because you got people like this running the streets. So let me know what y'all think. Like and subscribe. Leave comments in the comment section. And, and until next time.